I've just got a little bit of grinding left to do. This section right here, which takes me up to this uh, structural fiberglass uh, break that we have right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dish it out on both sides, kind of like what I've done up here. I'm going to do the same thing down here, so I better get busy at it. I think that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this down. Well, John, this is the uh, foam we're going to be using. It's three-quarter inch divinacel, and it's four-pound density. And you'll see that it conforms nicely to the shape of the transom. It allows us the camber that we want to get. See, I don't mean to be a, a stick in the mud, mm -hmm. but really, is it necessary to change out materials? I mean, originally we had plywood that was back here. Uh, we had a plywood transom cape, cap. Wouldn't it be better if we, if we stuck with plywood, but this time we encapsulate it so it doesn't rot again? John, you could do that, and uh, it would make a fine repair, but I think what uh, is much better about this material here is that you can shape it much quicker by hand, uh, radius it with sandpaper. We can hold it down uh, with screws very easily, whereas the plywood, we have to make it in the shop, we have to route it, we have to clamp it and screw it, whatever. Uh, and this material, once there's glass on both sides, it's like an I-beam, John, and it's, uh, it's bulletproof. Well, I went ahead with Steve's advice, and we went with the four pound density, three quarter inch divinacel. The first thing we did was we roughed it out. An inch we and needed to inch have inch it fit over that transom cap and underneath the lip. Now we had to actually cut it into three different sections. One for the starboard side of the boat, one for the center part of the transom, and one for the port side of the vessel. Now once we got it up underneath that lip, we started the process of sanding it with some rough sandpaper just to get the rough shape of the transom uh, back on the boat. We were looking for some nice radiuses to kind of keep the line of the vessel. And we used some 80 grit sandpaper to uh, finish sand that divinacel. Now the next thing that we did is we painted both sides of the divinacel with epoxy resin. We were looking for about 50% saturation here. Now the reason we wanted some kind of saturation is it's going to strengthen the material. When that epoxy gets into that divinacel, it's going to strengthen a little bit. We'll wait for that epoxy to cure, then we're going to lightly sand it, wipe it down, get all the debris off of it, put it back into place, screw it back down into the boat, and then we're going to start the process of actually putting the fiberglass on. We've got our divinacel all in place, and we have the shape of our transom cap back on this boat. Now, we did have to mix up a mixture of epoxy resin and cabosil. That's a thickening agent. Uh, we made a pretty thick paste, and we actually pushed it in underneath this lip, uh, and we also buttered the divinacel, right, Steve? Yep. Now, why did we do that? Well, uh, what I like to do is butter the divinacel, especially on the underside, because uh, the 1708 will stick to it beautifully, and it won't keep falling back down on you. Okay. And you get uh, absolute uh, perfect adhesion after you've buttered it and then go over it with the resin. It also kind of helped it slide in the place, yeah. too, which yeah. was pretty neat. Yep. Yeah. Now, I've mixed up a batch of just epoxy resin, and our cabosil and epoxy mixture is still wet. We're doing this all at the same time, and this way our glass wets out a lot easier. Now, uh, can, I, can I spread this out, or do you sure. want to kind of cut as we're going here? Alrighty, this is looking pretty good. Now, we are going to have to trim this up a, a bit. Now, Steve, how many layers of this uh, 1708 mid or stitch to biaxle are we going to actually be applying on this boat? Well, once we wet this out and roll it out nice, we'll add a second and then a third. Okay. And we'll squeeze it and roll it with a bubble roller out real nice. And uh, it'll, be, it'll be beautiful. Now we've got some uh, low spots here in the corner where I think we're going to need just a little bit more glass than three layers, Steve. What we will do is, once we've got the three layers down and it's filling this area, we'll locally fill in what's a little bit uh, lower there. Okay, now 
Give us a tip when we're working with uh, resin and it's curing on us. Take it out of the pot and put it in like a paint tray so it'll stay very thin and you won't get that excessive heat buildup. Okay. It'll buy you 10-15 minutes sometimes. Excellent, excellent. Well, we are going to need to roll out all of our bubbles potential air bubbles, and that's what these uh, metal rollers are for right here. Let me grab one. And we want this glass to become completely transparent when we're putting it onto the boat. Now, you're going to trim all my edges, right? Yep. Okay, good. And as you can see, it's not that hard to rebuild areas of the boat. <laughs>